Hey math lovers, I am Jassi. If you have an interest in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry, the basic properties of tangent lines to a circle and the famous Pythagoras theorem, then here I am ready with an interesting problem. We have a square with a side length 15 units. Now I am drawing a circle of radius 3 units inside the square such that two edges of the square are touching the circle. Now I am drawing a red colored line starting from one corner of the square and touches the circle. Now my problem is what is the length of this red line? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. First, let's give some notations to each vertex. The square is denoted by ABCD. The red line is denoted by DE. Center of the circle is named as O. And finally, the three touching points are denoted by F, P and Q. Now we are going to analyze the problem. Firstly, ABCD is a square of 15 units side length. Secondly, radius of the circle is 3 units. And then the lines BC, CD and DE are touching the circle at the points P, Q and F respectively. In other way, these lines are tangents of the circle at those points. Now what exactly is our aim of this problem? It is nothing but to find the length of the red line DE. This is the structure of our problem. So always keep in mind. Now just think, how can we find that length? By a simple observation, we can see that the triangle CDE is a right triangle and the red line DE is its hypotenuse. Also we know that the base length is 15 units because it's the side of the square. And that's it. So if we are able to find the length of CE, then by applying Pythagoras theorem, our answer is there. Let's proceed in that way. Before going to do the calculations, we have to remember an important property of tangent lines. Consider a circle and an arbitrary point L outside the circle. From this point, we can draw exactly two tangents to the circle. And the fact is that they are equal in length up to the touching points. That is, in this diagram, the lines LM equal to LN. To sum up, the tangent lines of a circle drawing from a single point are equal in length up to their touching points. Now coming back to the problem, let's consider the right triangle CDE. Clearly the lines OP and OQ are radii of the circle, which implies they are equal to 3 units. So it is clear from the figure that PC and QC are also equal to 3 units. Or in another way, we can see that these lines are in fact two tangents drawn from a single point. Therefore, by the property of tangents, they should be equal. Now we already have the side CD equal to 15 units. That implies DQ equal to 15 minus 3 equal to 12 units. Now observe the lines DQ and DF. They are in fact a pair of tangent lines of the circle drawn from a single point, which means they are equal in length and therefore DF equal to 12. The same argument can be applied to the lines EP and EF because they are also a pair of tangent lines to the circle from a single point, so they should be equal in length. Let's take this length as x units, that is, EF equal to EP equal to x units. Now we have all the sides of the right triangle. The side CD equal to 15, the side CE equal to 3 plus x, and the side DE equal to 12 plus x. By applying Pythagoras theorem, we get CD square plus CE square equal to DE square. That means, 15 square plus 3 plus x whole square equal to 12 plus x whole square. Open the brackets and expand the equation. That gives 255 plus 9 plus 6x plus x square equal to 144 plus 24x plus x square. The term x square cancels. What remaining here is 234 plus 6x equal to 144 plus 24x. On simplification we get 18x equal to 90 that is x equal to 5 units. What does it mean? 
we have the red line DE equal to 12 plus X. That implies DE equal to 12 plus 5, which is equal to 17 units. Therefore, length of the red line is 17 units. And that is the solution we are looking for. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. And thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another problem.